field. Let's send it back inside. There's one slow spot to talk about. It's on the Gardner westbound. Actually, westbound on the Gardner, Toronto Transportation has been looking at a slow-moving road crew backing things up on the westbound Gardner Expressway through Strawn. Just out of our view, actually, let's see if they've made it to Dufferin as yet. There they are. They're westbound on the Gardner Expressway, getting close to Dufferin. They've been slowing things down on that westbound Gardner Expressway. Look at this, through the Bathurst area on the westbound Gardner. And eastbound on the Gardner Expressway, look out for the road crew in the left lane. Eastbound Gardner Collectors through Islington. The key there, they're not really backing things up. Let's get out the green. Top end of the parkway. Southbound, northbound, nothing to worry about. 401 in the west end. Eastbound, westbound, doesn't matter. 401 in the east end. Again, a green zone on the 401 coming in through Scarborough. Young University spit on a subway line from the TTC. There's a problem at St. Clair West Station. As a result, no service right now between Spadina and Lawrence West. The running shuttle buses. Out in the east end, the good news warden is now open. Pooja. Thank you, Bob. Right now it's 1018 minus 7. This is Toronto's breaking news. CP24, well, the last group of survivors on board the Greek ferry that caught fire in the Adriatic Sea has arrived in Italy. We're going to have more on the investigation coming up. TV is awesome, and you can never get enough of the good stuff. That's why you will truly love Crave TV. Four bucks a month gets you some of the best shows ever. Anywhere you watch TV. Full seasons, full series, including classic HBO titles. Crave TV. All you can watch for four bucks a month. To subscribe, call your TV service provider. We got married, we became a family of five. Without the time and money to wash all this stuff separately. So we wash it all in cold water with Todd. Even Sarah's shorts. Those are mine. Seriously? Really? Look for lower sale prices at your store. Why do I take Metamucil every day? Because it's a simple step I can take for my digestive health. Now, I'm all about the healthy choices. I'm good. That's what I like to call the Meta Effect. Multi Health Metamucil helps promote digestive health and lower cholesterol. That's a cover shot. Experience the Meta Effect and see how one small change can lead to good things. Sleep Country's Boxing Week blowout is on now. Eye-popping prices on brand name mattresses, pillows, duvets, and sheet sets. Until Sunday only, get a super comfortable queen set for just $4.68. But only until Sunday and only at Sleep Country. The best man wins. That's gonna be awesome. You have to push harder. You lied to me. Oh, yes! If you've been the victim of a car or slip and fall accident, there's only one law firm and one telephone number you need to know. The Presler Law Firm at 1-800-JUSTICE. Welcome back. While well, the recovery operation continues for the victims of Air Asia Flight 8501. <laughs> Family members of the victims prayed for strength as the first bodies were returned to begin the identification process. Heavy rains and wind are hampering the recovery operation on the Java Sea. The search continues for the cockpit voice and data recorders, but there are fears that the bad weather is causing wreckage to drift further from the crash site. The plane was carrying 162 passengers and crew when it disappeared on Sunday. The last group of people rescued from the Norman Atlantic ferry arrived in Italy this morning. The ship caught fire earlier this week with more than 400 people on board and at least 10 people died. Italian prosecutors on Tuesday ordered the crippled ferry back to Italy as part of a criminal investigation. A Canadian-born woman who now lives in Greece with her husband and two sons is among the survivors. She describes the chaos and the terror she felt. It was everywhere. It was on the deck. It was underneath, uh, underneath the floor that we were standing on. There was total panic. People were screaming. People were crying. People run, were running about. There was no direction. There was no crew. We had to find our own life vests. We had to search for children's life vests for the boys. Um, and uh, yeah, that was it. And we thought this was the end of it. This was it for us. 
And we're getting our first look at new video taken on board the ferry after the fire broke out. This video was shot by Turkish passengers on board the ship. They spent two days on the upper deck as the lower deck and garage were on fire. You can see thick black smoke coming from the ship and the passengers waiting to be rescued. Turning to other news now, police in Edmonton continue to investigate the worst mass murder in Edmonton's history after nine bodies were discovered yesterday. CTV's Melanie Nagy joins us live now from Edmonton with the very latest. Uh, thanks for joining us, Melanie. Obviously, a very tragic uh, situation here. I understand today there will be some autopsies conducted. Right now, we are outside the home where seven of the eight victims were found, two of them being the children were found inside dead. And right now, the focus for police is going through the autopsy process, and that is expected to be completed tomorrow. No identities of the victims that were found in this home will be released until that's done. But last night, police did release the name of one of the victims, 37-year-old Cindy Duong. And this all began Monday evening when police were call called to a home in the southwest area of Edmonton. When they arrived, they found Cindy Duong dead. They believe the suspect went into the home, opened fire, and then fled. Then this brings us to where we are now. Police were called to this home about 90 minutes later. That's where they were called on a suspicious uh, case of a, a suicidal male, possibly. When they came, they said nothing was suspicious, so they left. But when they returned shortly after midnight, that's when they made the grim discovery here. And then the story kept going, and it wasn't until Tuesday morning that it ended when the suspect was found dead of an apparent suicide in a restaurant in Fort Saskatchewan, and that's just outside of Edmonton. And you mentioned the suspect. We're learning a little bit more about him. Uh, what can you tell us? Police last night said the suspect is known to police, also has an extensive criminal record dating back to the 1980s. And we are also learning more about the weapon used in these murders. Police are saying it's a 9mm handgun and that it was registered in the 90s in BC, but reported stolen in Surrey from Surrey, BC in around 2006. Also learning that this home here, police have been called to this home in the past. Uh, in 2012, they were called here on a case of domestic violence and as well in 2013 called on a welfare checkup. So we are getting more details, but we still don't have the identity of the suspect or the victims found here in this home. And that, of course, as I mentioned, we're waiting for the autopsies to be completed. CTV's Melanie Nagy live in Edmonton. Thank you so much for joining us. This is Toronto's breaking news, CP24 2015, almost here. And for many, that means setting new goals. When we come back, tips for making your New Year's resolutions stick. If I'm not a nurse, I'm no one. My daughter is studying to be a dentist, and she gave me advice. She said, Dad, go pro with Crest Pro Health. For teeth that are up to four times cleaner, try these products together. Crest Pro Health really brought my mouth to the next level. Go pro with Crest Pro Health. You know, I tried one of those bargain paper towels, but the roll just disappeared. Bounty is two times more absorbent, so one roll lasts longer. Bounty, the long-lasting picker-upper. Harold the Jewelry Buyer has the cash you need and now announces a new service in Toronto. If you have an urgent need to sell your house for whatever reason, Harold can help. Why continue to struggle for a price slightly below market? I will buy your house and contents with a 15-day closing. Plus, first and second mortgages arranged within five business days. No income statements, no credit checks. Call 647-400-GOLD. The Jewelry Buyer, the one you can trust. Bathurst Street, one light south of Lawrence. The last one's Bad Boy Boxing Week with up to 90% off is on now. Check out a few of our amazing door crashers while supplies last. Hurry in. When they're gone, they're gone. Who's better? Nobody! Nobody. International Pool and Spa Center's Boxing Week sale is held over. Up to 60% off. Free 60-inch Sony TV with a co-spot to the first five purchases per day. Or save big on a Churchill Billiard Table from only $19.95. Oshawa, Mississauga, and Barry. Sale held over until January 4th.
Welcome back. Along with tonight's celebrations, many will be making a new year resolution and there are some tips to help you stick to your new goal. Experts say that the number one thing to keep in mind is to be realistic. That includes setting a realistic time frame for the change. They also say it's easier to achieve it if it has to do with self-improvement and learning. And depending on what your goal is, experts say that you need to be prepared to learn from your mistakes and celebrate the small steps. Also, make sure it doesn't become too stressful. They say having some fun along the way is key as joy can fuel positive change. Nothing joyous about being on a treadmill. 1027 minus 7. This is Toronto's breaking news, CP24. Well, it's New Year's Eve. Coming up, we're going to tell you everything you need to know. To More than you. Do not. Do too. This is just the kickoff party, girls. Imagine what a tizzy they'll be in by the time the Battle of the Bands starts. There isn't going to be a Battle of the Bands. We're going to make sure of that. All right, girls, let's do this. last time? I don't understand. We're all together again. Why isn't this working? You, uh, really need to go ahead and do that whole magic of friendship thing now. I'm trying, Spike. I thought the six of us standing together against the sirens would bring out the magic we needed to defeat them. That's what happened before. Talk about throwing down the gauntlet. This group is obviously serious about winning. A little cocky, though, aren't they? Claiming there won't really be a battle. Seems they think they've already got this thing all locked up. Not if the great and powerful Trixie has anything to do with it! Whatever, Trixie! We're the best band at CHS! No, the Crusaders are gonna win!